Okay, so now that we've got the torso roughed in, what Zach's going to do in this lesson here is start adding all of the detail required to define the pecs and the ribs. Now, we're not going to finish the entire torso area right here. Again, just those two areas. But as we continue adding more and more detail, the torso will become more and more defined. Exactly. So let's go ahead and jump right in here. First thing I'm going to do is hit F4 to bring out my edged faces. This makes the edges visible on our shape, and it'll make things a lot clearer as we go through this. So, just kind of looking at our character, we've got some pectoral muscles that we need to bring out. The first thing we're going to need to do is make some cuts to define our, our areas for uh, what we're going to be moving as far as detail and pulling it out. And uh, then we'll just be cutting in various areas for the ribs and whatnot. So starting here at the pectorals, I'm going to begin by making a cut from the corner of the seam down here to this edge. This is going to be kind of like a sternum sort of area, just to flatten out the center part of the chest so that the both of the pectoral muscles don't blend right into each other. Then I'm going to be making a cut here from the inside corner out to this edge. And we'll just kind of leave it there at that edge for now. And before I get too much further, we're going to require a cut that goes from the collar all the way down our shape, and we're going to kind of be reverting back to using this little bit of detail as we go throughout the torso. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and get the whole thing cut in. What this is going to do is give us the detail we need to round our character out a little bit more. I'll, I'll go ahead and demonstrate that for those of you out there who might be wondering why would you make a cut uh, in such a place on your character. Maybe we've got some beginners out there who haven't been modeling very long. Making a cut like that down the front of our entire character allows us to take these vertices on the outside and pull them back in Y, and you can see how that's rounding our character out already. Now we've got a little bit of crossover up here in this corner. That's not a problem. We'll just grab this vertex that did cross over and slide him back as well, and that fixes the issue. So continuing back on, I'm going to go to my back view now, and i got to make things transparent just for a moment so I can see where to place some of this detail. I'm going to go ahead and jump to frame one, and we can see through our character now. And I'm going to start marquee selecting vertices and moving them around a bit. This vertex here at the edge, I'm going to pull out into an armpit area. And this vertex, I'll pull down a little bit to get kind of an outline of where the pectoral muscle should be. Go ahead and shade this back to make it a little easier to see and jump back to my perspective view. So now I'm going to make a cut to continue the definition line I was going to use for the pectoral across here and then into the armpit vertex. I'm also going to make a cut from the seam all the way across to this outer edge. With all this detail we can now pull out the the muscle itself and give it some definition. So I'll get my move tool out and I can just pull this vertex forward and then out a little bit in X the next vertex over, I'm actually going to push back a little bit in Y, and the, uh, the one underneath that I'll push back even further in Y, and pull it a little inward in X. The vertex here at the armpit, I'll drag backwards in Y, and now I'll be taking these vertices here, such as here in the center of the, the pectoral muscle, and I'll just pull them out a little bit in Y, and you can see how this is already rounding out our character. We'll separate these a little bit in X, grab this central vertex, pull it out, like so. Maybe I'll pull this guy a little bit further back into the shape, give a little more definition there, and pull this guy back. I don't want to get too picky yet, because really, in essence, we're still kind of roughing things in. We've got a lot of work to go, and we don't want to start uh, dwelling on the details just yet. So really, that's about it for the pectoral muscles. They're, they're very simple, uh, just kind of like muscle slabs that uh, lay on the front of the chest. So now I'm going to go ahead and start working in some of the detail for the ribs. The first thing I'm going to do is make a cut that continues our sternum area down to the bottom of the rib section and then into the seam like so. And you'll notice it's even kind of shaped like a natural sternum and then it has the point down in the middle. And we'll be using that a little bit later as we make the definition cut between the rib area and the, the stomach. So if we look at our drawing, we'll notice that our character has four very defined rib sections on his chest. So we want to divi divide this rib section into four areas, so we'll do that with a cut tool. 
I'll start here. And I'm not going to carry these cuts all the way around to the back of our character right now. One, because it'd be a little confusing. And two is we'll deal with the back kind of on its own a little bit later after we finish more of the torso. So there's a second section, and then this will be the third section. Now would be a good time to switch to our back view and see how things are lining up in the orthographic view. Still looking pretty good. We won't worry too much about how our ribs are lining up exactly yet. But things are looking divided rather nicely. So we'll go back to our perspective view and shade him back up. Now with our four sections, we're going to need a little more detail to actually get some curvature in each one of these ribs. So we're going to do this by taking each of our four rib sections and subdividing them right down the middle. Now, there are those who might ask, why didn't we just go ahead and divide it into eight sections when we were starting? Well, this makes it just a little bit easier to evenly space out your cuts. So that takes care of that. We're also going to make a cut from this corner of the sternum underneath our rib section. We want our bottom rib to be a little more pronounced, a little more dramatic, if you will. We'll cut to this edge and then cut back up here to this corner. And what this is going to allow us to do, now that it's time to start pulling out detail for our ribs, is to grab the first two vertices at the bottom and pull them out. can move these actually on the XY plane and speed things up a little bit. Looks like I left that guy behind. No problem. Pull him out. Line him up a little better. Don't worry too much about how this looks here with the stomach. We haven't really got to the stomach yet. Also, take the cut that you just made and pull those vertices in a little bit to make the division even more dramatic. Don't worry if you've pulled them too far. We haven't yet gone back and checked to see how they line up with the drawing yet. The idea right now is just to get the detail in place and we'll tweak it later. So now I'm going to skip one edge and I'll go up to the next row of vertices and pull them out as well. we start to get some actual definition for the ribs. Once again, I'll skip another row of vertices, go to the next row up, pull them out. And skip one more, go to the last row, and move these out as well. So now would be a pretty good time to switch on NERM subdivision and see what our shape is starting to look like. So we'll switch on NERMs. Of course, nothing will happen at first. We've got to bump our iterations up. I'll bump them up to about two and switch off edged faces. So we can already see we're starting to get some defined ribbed areas. There is a small problem. We kind of notice how these ribs are starting to curve in a little bit, and that might not really be what we're looking for. We can fix this, actually, by taking our cut tool and just making a single cut in toward the seam. And that flattens out the area at the front of the sternum quite a bit. So let's go to, to our back view now. I'll switch off edged faces. And we'll go ahead and make this transparent. Actually, I'll switch those back on and leave this transparent. And now what we're going to do is edit our detail. Let me deactivate the cut tool real quick. And so we'll select, we'll marquee select larger sections of our detail and start dragging them around with the move tool to start spacing our ribs as they appear in the drawing. It's a lot easier to do it this way than try to get it lined up in the first place because this allows you just to get your detail in much faster and then come in and edit it to make sure it looks right. So that looks really close. Jump back to our perspective view and shade him back up. And we've got our character with our ribs actually protruding. Okay. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this section. Okay, looks good.